What's up guys? It's Isaac at Tobacco Road Harley Davidson here in Raleigh, North Carolina with your pre-owned bike of the week, the 2015 Dyna Street Bob. So you've probably seen the current Street Bobs on the Milwaukee 8 Softail platform, but this is kicking a little bit more old school with the Street Bob on the Dyna platform. So if you're looking for a simple yet solid motorcycle with the 103 twin cam, Vance and Hines pipes, and a Harley Davidson hard candy customs paint job, then this bike is the one for you. So stick around as we dive into everything that makes this Dyna the next one you want to add to your garage for your pre-owned bike of the week. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into this bike and show you all these cool fun features on this thing. So the first thing we got to talk about is this paint. So this is a Harley Davidson hard candy customs paint job. So pretty much the three things that make a hard candy custom what they are are intense colors, brilliant flakes, and a clear coat to seal them all up. And this bike is no exception to that. This is a quick silver flake job. And so what it is, it's a bright silver paint all over the bike with those brilliant flakes that really light up when you put any sort of light over them. So there is no missing this bike. Then on top of that, got that perfect amount of black and chrome all over this bike that really just ties together with that Quicksilver Flake perfectly. Really making this a simple yet elegant motorcycle, but it'll still get down when you want it to. So for the wheels on this bike, you've got Harley-Davidson Michelin rubber, and you've got spoked rims on both the front and the back, keeping this bike staying looking classy. And then you've got a single front rotor that's going to give you plenty of stopping power for this smaller, wider bike. And then you've got some Willie G Harley-Davidson axle nut covers on both the left and the right side of that front tire, helping protect the axle and give it just a little bit extra class. You've got the black and chrome front suspension, keeping this front wheel on the ground. You've got that gorgeous quick silver flake front fender, and you've actually got a Harley Davidson LED headlight. So actually this bike has LED lighting all the way around on it. You've got that brilliant bright headlight, and then you've also got LED front turn signals, and then you've also got the LED brake light turn signal combos in the rear. So this bike is going to be plenty bright no matter which way you're looking at it. Then above that headlight, you've got these little mini eight bars. So it's going to bring it up to a nice height. So you're not leaning too far forward, but your arms are at a nice shoulder height. You've got upgraded Harley Davidson grips. Uh, these are fantastic grips that are the perfect width to be able to hold on to just right. And they've got that little bit of rubber on them. So they're not going to go anywhere that you don't want them to. On the top of the horn, you've got your trip. So what you can do with that, the cycle through the data readouts on the speedometer. So you can go through everything such as the clock, your gear slash your RPMs, the miles on the bike, your trip A, your trip B, and your fuel range. And this bike is still throttled by cable. So you're gonna have those two external cables sticking out from underneath the right side. And there's nothing fancy for the cruise control on this bike, but you do have that little set screw there. On this bike, you've got the tank mounted speedometer with the center mounted ignition switch as well that you can lock for the security on this bike. So this bike doesn't have the keyless entry like the new soft tail street bobs, but this bike does have the little circle key. So all you've got to do is flip that door open and then you can lock your ignition switch. You've got your gas cap on the right and then you've got a more decorative fuel gauge on the left. Now this is a 4.7 gallon tank. So this is actually going to give you a pretty decent little range if you're trying to go and do everything with this bike. So if you do find yourself doing those longer touring adventures on this thing, which it can certainly do, you're going to be able to skip a couple gas stops with that 4.7 gallon tank. This bike does have mid controls, so you're going to find this bike is plenty easy to whip around when you want to. This bike does have passenger pegs, so it gives you an extra spot to move your feet to if need be. Then inevitably, when people start wanting rides from you, all you've got to do is get a passenger pillion on and the pegs are already there. So you're good to go ahead and throw somebody on the back. Then behind that on either side are the large adjustable shocks with the cool overs, giving it that nice sporty look to it still and making sure you've got a nice comfortable ride. Now, since this bike doesn't have a passenger pillion that leaves the gorgeous rear fender to be a little bit more exposed and for more people to be able to see that gorgeous paintwork. And on the back of that rear fender, you've got that Harley Davidson hard candy custom stamp. So that way everyone knows a little bit more about this work of art. Then on either side, you've got the LED turn signal brake light combos. And on the left side, a side mounted license plate. So before we get riding on this bike, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with the passenger on it. So sitting on this bike, it is a little bit of a firm seat, but it's nice and wide. So it really it holds you well. These bars are in a really good spot, so it's a kind of perfect height for me uh, where I'm in a very good upright position on this bike. I'm not leaning too far forward. I'm not just sitting back, but it's a good, it's a good happy middle right here. 
Uh, the grips are really nice. They fit really well in the hand. Speedometer is right there in easy view. It's got the basic mirrors you can see right behind you. It does have the Harley Davidson pegs for the mid controls, so it's going to be a nice flat spot for me to put my feet. And then I can work all the foot. Then I can work all the foot controls very easily. But other than that, it's a pretty simple bike. Uh, should be plenty easy to throw around. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Camera check. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and crank this thing up. Condition switch, kickstand. Go ahead and set my two gear slash RPM. Let's give it a go. Ooh, yeah, got a couple spectators out here. Weight's good. Not off to the fellow. Go ahead and put my sunglasses back right. Cool. All right. Back this thing on out of here. Mid controls. All right, guys. So, uh, leaving tobacco road here. This bike already feels good. It's nice and smooth on the clutch. Uh, we had uh, some spectators right off the go. Wanted to see this bike and can't say I blame them. So, let's go ahead and see what it's like. Nice and smooth on the clutch. Twin cam power here. Twin cam is just... The numbers off the Milwaukee 8... The numbers off the Milwaukee 8 are just... Good. But the twin cam, like, there's just something nice about it. Especially on an old Dyna like this. Ooh. I say old, it's 2015. So, it's only got... It's not less than 13,000 miles on it. So, it'll have 16,000 by the time we're done with the strip. Just kidding, just kidding. No. Uh, but it's less than 13,000 miles on it, so it's still getting broken in. It's kind of that uh, Goldilocks area where all the hard, hard all the uh, hard part's been done. So all you got to do is get out here and ride it. So um, we are out here about to do the suspension test on the uh, less than ideal part of Lake Wheeler Road here, taking the back way out of Harley Davidson. So uh, it feels a little bit nice and high. The mid controls. Um, so far as suspension, I mean, it's uh, pretty smooth. It's actually, it's actually pretty nice. I uh, feel a little bit of vibration to the feet. Nothing too bad. Oh yeah, it's actually, it's actually pretty smooth in the back. I'm not gonna lie. So, what's oh, a excellent, excellent test there. And uh, let's see, let these cars go. All right, excellent place to stop. All right, so 2015 Dyna Street Bob. Everybody loves a Dyna. Um, there's there are a lot of fun bikes. You know, that's the previous bike that everybody was building out because uh, it's just a good platform. You know, it's uh, and it's still that it's still a really good size. You know, so it's bigger than a Sportster, um, but it's about the same size. It's like a more it was like a more sportier version of the soft tails at the time almost. Uh, just my opinion on that. Let's go ahead and get it the brake quick. Oh yeah, this thing sounds like a motorcycle. Ooh, road hazard. I haven't been on twin cam like this in a little while. Ah, uh, feels good. But yeah, so I mean, it is a dinosaur. It's going to have a little bit of vibration all around on it. But then once you get going, it's going to kind of smooth out nice and easy. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is just easy cruising bike. Uh, one thing I like about it is just with the seat position, the mid controls, you really feel like you can kind of perch on it and give it some beans right quick. So it is a twin cam, so it's nice. Uh, let's see. Do -do -do. Speedometer, nice, easy view. Uh, also, big fan of the like wrinkle black, so it's just past noon here. So this would be the perfect time to do that test of seeing just how reflective things are um, and so with that wrinkle black on the center of the tank it's really um, a pleasant ride um, or, you know so you with that noon Sun there let's give it some beads all right this bike will do what you want 
It's smooth on it too. Holy cow. Once again, passing Centennial Campus. Uh, it's, it's just a nice bike. I like it. Um, good stuff all the way around. Not too bad traffic. It's a gorgeous day in here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, give the city a plug. You know, there's a, a lot of good riding to be had today, that's for sure. That is for sure. Red light, but we'll do a little uh, ride on red. Do a little uh, Harley Davidson Hill Climb Edition. Okay, now we will. Yeah, this, uh, this bike does it. This bike does what you want. Let's see, give me some braking. Good front brake and rear brake. It's nice and smooth, well balanced. Let's see, do, 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 do. Oh yeah. It's nice. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so it's got a nice mid control. This bike looks good, it's nice and shiny. Um, all the way around on it. I mean, just the, just the way the sun reflects off this paint is incredible. Um, so I mean, it's a good, simple bike. You know, if you were uh, going here at NC State or just looking for a daily commute bike, you know, this bike would, uh, this bike would do you very, very well. Um, you really, it's good. This is a fun bike. You know, if you're, and like I said, it's got that 4.7 gallon tank, so it's gonna. It's gonna let you tour with it a little bit more. So you're gonna be able to take this bike a little bit further. Yeah, this bike's got excellent power. That 103, that 103 is nasty sometimes when you have your hand on the throttle. Uh, but it's just an easy rider, too. I mean, you know, we can take it nice and easy. Test our braking here on this wonderful yellow light. Not bad. Great bike. Pretty fun. It sounds good, too. The Vance and Hines, it's, uh, it's that nice. It just makes it sound like a motorcycle. Make sure we're good. Taking it nice and easy for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are boogieing on this thing. Ooh, bug to the knee. Let's ride on the shady side of the road, get out of the sun, feel this nice cool air. Gorgeous day for it. Uh, just remembered I don't have my gloves on, but uh, my bad. It's just so nice. Let's see. Ooh, let's lean it a little bit. Not too much though, because uh, the red light strikes again. This is a six speed, but probably not gonna be putting it to sixth gear at 30 miles an hour. So. Uh, this is a smooth riding bike, smooth shifting, smooth riding. Big fan of this guy. So, as a street bop, so you know you're supposed to just bop around on the street on this thing, and I can tell you it's gonna do, it's gonna do that. It's gonna do that very, very well. Um, so far, good power, really, sm really smooth ride in the rear. Um, uh, comfortable, comfortable position. I mean. It does, it does have room if you want to put an engine guard or something like that on the front. So if you did want to stretch your leg out there, you know, you certainly can. That would be nice to be able to do that. Um, but you can have that on afterwards. Uh, but the mid control is for riding. You can tuck your knees on and you can scoot on this thing mighty fine, mighty fine. And let's ease up a little bit so we can hit this one. The hardest turn we're going to hit this whole trip. And a little bit of it. And... Get that little snap. Oh yeah. This is a good bike. That feels good. Smooth, baby. Hello. 
I see a big fancy black and orange truck at the dealership. Look at that. We're gone for uh, just a couple minutes and they already got new fun stuff for us. So I think there's a CVO on that truck. That'll be exciting. Blue steel. Oh yeah. Oh, cracking it open. Cracking it open. It looks fun. Exciting. And welcome to Tobacco Road Harley Davidson. And we're going to whip right here in front of the door. Park this thing, let some people see it. Check out this bike. Be like, man, I want that Dyna. Can't say I blame him. Can't say I blame him. So, smooth ride, awesome ride. And back to you in the studio, Isaac. So, that's your 2015 Dyna Street Bob for your pre owned bike of the week. Thanks for sticking around and checking out the video. And we hope that you were able to learn just a little bit more about the Dynas and the Street Bobs. So these are fantastic bikes, a ton of fun to ride around, and there's just so much you can do with them. And the customization you can do on Dynas to, to really make them your own is incredible. Currently, the performance baggers and the inmate soft tails are what a lot of people are building out, but the Dynas still have a special place in a lot of people's hearts, and so there's still a lot of people building these things out, and you could be one of them. This bike already has a lot of nice accessories to it to make it a little bit more comfortable and easier to ride for you. So if you were looking for a bike that didn't already have too much on it, and one you wanted to build up, then this bike with this iconic hard candy custom paint job is gonna be perfect for you. So until then, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you out here at Tobacco Road Harley-Davidson sometime soon.